No. Reform Aha, maybe? They don't need to split up. They yeah. reformed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the last time I suggest anything. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, cool. Well, 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 well. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, well, it's between world peace and reforming our <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe if one happened, the other would happen. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, Jessica Natalie Maheka, I think. <laughs> I've made a complete pig's ear of that. Um, if you could be any mythological creature for a day, <laughs> which would you choose and why? It's got to be... Is, what's um, the centaur? The centaur is pretty weird, isn't it? I think Jesse looks a bit like a little centaur sometimes. <laughs> like, what's a, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Tumnus in the, the Narnia book? He's a fawn, dickhead. <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's a, do we know the difference centaur's between Centaur's the one with the centaur. horse is body, isn't he? So what's a fawn? You'd be a little unicorn, wouldn't you? <laughs> You'd like that. I'd be a beautiful, graceful You'd unicorn. You'd be a little mermaid or something. <laughs> <laughs> little hairy mermaid. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Dog. Any, <laughs> Mermaids aren't mythological anyway, are they? Well, they're, they're not real. <laughs> oh, they're not. Okay, sorry. Unicorns are they? Yeah, that's another thing entirely. But you know what? I didn't realise until about the age of twelve that unicorns weren't real. <laughs> <laughs> Just admitted that to the world. You can make one. I'm very upset. You can, you can make one if you stick a horn to a, hor <laughs> to a horse's head. I'm going to find a white shire horse pony and just... You can make it real, Tom. Yes, OK. Um, this is an interesting question. It's from Twitter. Um, uh, from at not the Mona Lisa. How would you react to being turned into a cat? Would you write, would you write songs about your relationships with other cats? So I, I, I've got two cats. In fact, there's quite a lot of cats in the, in the band. Not in the band. <laughs> <laughs> cool cats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Creepy cats. But I, I've, one of my cats just, she always finds like a lovely patch of hot earth and just lies there stretching out in the sun. I always just think it just looks so nice. Yeah. So I'd like to do that. But I'd you could do that. That's not, it's not difficult to arrange. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to write all the songs. He hasn't got time. While you're on holiday. It's going to have to be 81 songs next time and then a bit of time to lie on a piece of hot ground, stretch out. Me time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you missed that. Jesse just said some meow time. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, <laughs> subtle. Thank you. Uh, Wrap up with a few questions from the floor. Th brackets three. Three questions. <laughs> <laughs> we can maybe have four quick ones. Let's, let's okay. we have waste no time. Okay, does anyone have any questions for these do, people? Do I need to give this microphone back? I do, Simon. Okay. Um, okay. Hold on, you've got to wait for the microphone. Okay. The microphone will find you. Oh, okay. What's your favourite Keen song of all the time, one that you think, wow, that's amazing? Um, well, we started opening the show with My Shadow recently, and it's a bit of a... I mean, it's not the best-known Keen song because it was kind of tacked on the end of the Night Train EP and probably should have taken Pride of Place somewhere more important, I think, um, than that because, for me, it's, I think, one of the, the most beautiful songs that Tim's written. And I just love the way that it builds and builds and builds into this enormous crescendo. And it has my favourite lyric, that's when you hitch your star to mine, which I think is one of my favourite lyrics. This old boy. <laughs> Anyone else got a favourite Keen song? I like Jesse doesn't, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I like Clocks and Fixie. <laughs> He's it's done. He's gone. <laughs> Is that it? Should we move on? <laughs> I like no, Perfect on, Symmetry. It's my favourite. I was just going to ask if anyone was not very good at the bass, because um, we need... Uh... <laughs> okay. Um, 
Any, anyone who, who, any hands? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I promised you. Go on. Um, uh, someone coming your way. It's for the internet. Oh. <laughs> right, um, I want to know, inside legs please, no, seriously. Um, you often talk about writing a um, classic album, your classic album, a classic album for us. Strange Land could be that. Um, could you sum it up for me in five words? Don't ask Tim, because it might take a little bit of time. So, <laughs> maybe Tom and Jesse. I got it. It's a fucking classic album. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no? I'm, not, I'm not allowed. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Very, 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 very good. Done. <laughs> okay, moving swiftly. Have we got anyone at the back? I can't see. Any hand? Oh, what a shy audience. Oh, there's one. Okay. There you go. Um, as a music teacher, I'm always telling the kids it's really, really hard to get into the music industry. What kind of advice would you give to young people trying to do what you've done? I think we'd be the worst people in the world to ask for advice. <laughs> um, we learn from making a hell of a lot of mistakes. Um, and because of where we grew up, there was no music scene at all. And the schools we went to, there were no other bands. We all moved to London thinking we'd be hanging out with loads of bands, and we didn't. So. <laughs> We kind of didn't really know what we were doing, but we had to learn everything by making mistakes. And often that's the very best way. Um, and I think you just have to work really, really hard at what you do and find your own unique, peculiar thing that makes you different from everyone else. Okay, are we out of time? Can anyone? Should we move on to the next part of the evening? Do you want to? Play a couple of songs, maybe? Shall we play some songs? Anyone up for that? Hooray! All right. Thank you, Pete. My pleasure. Can you say thank you to Pete, please? Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Keen.